Now let's talk about the poem, one of the best poems about death by John Donne. Death, be not proud, is also known as Sonnet 10. Uh, this poem is written by John Donne in the year 1633. And in this poem, uh, John Donne has um, used the metaphor of death and he presents an argument against the power of death. In this poem, John Donne argues that death is not permanent, but serves as an eternal pathway to an afterlife. Uh, death be not proud. A two pui chang pon kan shet yam mei anga. He mi son net den tia kan shet mi poi ma hian. John Donne hian. Mi shun ina death kan ngai dan ka. Dang zong aya makana lo approach ta ni tu. Heta hian death hi personification a personified ta a umzio tu mishin ang kan thi ni hi ava beta ni. Death. Let's go to the first quadrain. Sonnet. Sonnet. Ani na in fourteen lines kan ni a. The first four lines hi quadrain kan na ni ta ni. So I have also told you about the rhyme scheme A, B. So, tro, b, and d, me, eh? a, b, b, a. So, this is a um, rhyme scheme of this poem. Uh, let's go straight to the first quadrain. That be not proud, though some have called thee a mighty dreadful, for thou art not so, Aditani. That illusionary pride alone, H in he. Omze to machine, lone it as Mi zong zong nu na la a katia mishing zing at leng vel shin alo ni vang khan alo cha po te ta thil ki te vio ang khan lo in ngay te ta ni That is why John Dunn in the first line say that o ti na be not proud cha po le tuk su la Though some have called you mighty and dreadful mi chan kat zuan thil ti te le la om anga an ti an lo shia chan lo ko ta chan ni po om zi atso how do people usually perceive that? They think that is dangerous. They think that is mighty and dreadful. But John Don says that though some people might have called you dangerous or mighty or powerful, the truth is for thou art not so. But that is not your true nature because in reality you are not dangerous. In, in its most simplest terms. No more. For those whom thou thinks thou dost overthrow, for those to them and many more whom think, whom thou think thou dost overthrow, how thou more think, does the O E S do verb. Nang ma ina nang ina. I overthrow it net da anga ingay te po ka die not at ita ni until ove poor that you beautiful that nang kong ay taglo tu ka mo until ove heng zong zong he anu na ila fight time ni tikan they do not actually die at ita ni nor yet can thou kill me at ita ni di juan until ove nang ma po yan kan nun at taki ina tayo ove min tat tayo ove at ita ni so it represents death as a powerless figure. It says that death does not kill people. die not For those whom thou thinks thou dost overthrow, it need until Why does he mention that they did not die? They did not die because death liberates them liberates their soul from the bound of physical human body and he directs them, he takes them, he escorts them to eternal life. Eternal life first